Imagine a world where creating a baby doesn't require sperm, eggs, or even a partner, just a few of your skin cells. Now, imagine someone collecting those cells without your knowledge and using them to make a human being. While this sounds like science fiction or maybe a personal horror film, it's rapidly becoming a scientific reality. This is the frontier of human reproduction, in vitro gametogenesis, or IVG. While this is definitely a breakthrough in biotechnology, it's also a total paradigm shift that forces us to reconsider the boundaries of reproduction, identity, and consent. This technique actually has already been successfully used on mice. In 2016, Japanese researchers reprogrammed skin cells from male mice into egg cells, which they then fertilized using other male mice, and then transplanted those fertilized eggs into female mice. This led to the birth of healthy mouse offspring. So you have two male mice, they became the dads of these pups, and then the female mice were used to gestate the embryos and fetuses. Now, only seven live pups resulted from the 630 embryo transfers, but this is still a monumental scientific milestone. And if it can be done to mice, then you know what's probably coming next. The possibilities here are wild, and not in a what if way, more of a get ready, it's coming way. I'm gonna run down some of the possibilities here. First, infertility treatment tops the list. For individuals who can't produce viable eggs or sperm due to age, illness, cancer treatments, etc., IVG could offer a way to have biological children without donors. Next, same-sex reproduction. It's another major potential. In theory, two men or two women could each contribute skin cells to create both sperm and eggs. A child genetically related to both parents without third-party donors. 